Hey, my friend, in this lesson, I'm going to show you some popular chords for worship guitar music. So back in the days when I was teaching private lessons, I had many students who wanted to play guitar on Sundays at church. And I saw some patterns in what they wanted to learn and in the songs that they brought to me for me to teach them. And I'm going to show you four of those patterns that I saw very regularly. And it doesn't matter if you want to use that for worship music or not. Those are chords that are very usable all around. So the first pattern that I saw a lot is to use open string voicings. So uh, it sounds somewhat like this. So do you remember the first time that you tried to play a bar chord from the sixth string, like this A major? It was painful, isn't it, to bar the whole fretboard with your index and it probably buzzed and it was hard to maintain. So this solves this problem. Instead of playing it uh, entirely like this, we are going to lift our index finger to let the open first and second strings ring open like this and now the index is only fretting the fifth string on the the fifth fret on the sixth string right and it sounds like this that's a beautiful voicing for an a major chord it adds some extensions to it so this is the major version the minor version is a bit trickier because we need to use the thumb. So I'm going to start from the second fret here and I'm going to start by placing my ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, my pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string and my index on the first, uh, the second fret of the third string like this. With the two top strings open once again. And once it is placed here, you have to use your thumb and reach it until you can push on the sixth string on the second fret. And it's gonna sound like this. I love to play it like this because I feel it's much more comfortable like this. Because if you wanna fret it another way, it's very awkward to, to fret, right? And it's a te uh, technique that was used by Jimi Hendrix and lots of players to use the thumb on the fretboard like this, right? So this is the minor version. So this one is gonna be uh, played a lot from the second fret, from the fourth fret, and from the ninth fret. And typically the major version is gonna be played a lot from the fifth fret, the seventh fret, uh, the tenth fret, and sometimes the second fret even. And you can even push it until you play the E major like this, right? You probably are used to play your E major chord like this with your index, uh, middle and ring. But in that case, you can play it with your middle ring and pinky because now you can slide a chord like this without moving your fingers, so that's really, really practical. So once again, you can make stuff like this. So this was in the key of A major, which, what I just played, but uh, this is really great to use in keys that you can incorporate the top two strings, like the key of E major, a major, B major, they're all going to work really well. So for example, in the key of B major, you could start from the seventh fret and then play from the second fret and then play your minor version from the fourth fret and then play the E, something like this. So in the keys of E, A and B, this is very, very useful. So this is the first pattern that I saw a lot. Second pattern that I saw a lot is to play in the key of G major and drone the D and G note on top. So if you play your G major chord with all four fingers like this, you end up having your pinky and your ring on the third fret on the top two strings, right? 
So it's very common that you keep those notes in place and you only change your bottom two fingers to create some new chords. So you can play G major, but you can uh, skip a string with your uh, index and uh, middle finger and play a C chord. In that case, that's gonna be a C add nine. You can do the same thing for an E minor chord like this. And once again, you can skip them one string to play an A chord. In that case, that's gonna be an A sus four. And you can even play the open fourth for a D, open D string, and then your index on the second fret third string, like this, which creates a D sus four. So you can play through all of these chords. It's exactly like the song Wonder Wall from Oasis, right? It's exactly the same technique here. So those are easy chords that you can use and you have to move uh, so few notes on the fretboard. So it's uh, really, really practical to use this like this. Uh, which brings me to the third pattern that I saw a lot. And there are some in this progression. It's to use suspended chords. Sus2, but especially sus4 chords. You gotta know your sus4 chords, right? So uh, we're gonna play uh, many sus chords from our open strings that we know. So instead of fretting the G major chord like this, this time we are going to fret it like this. So this is gonna sound and look weird but we're gonna play it by placing our ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string and place it in the way that it gets in the way of the fifth string so that I can mute the fifth string. And then I'm gonna play the pinky on the third fret of the first string and I play all the rest open. So it's just another voicing for G major. It feels awkward, <laughs> awkward, but now you can use your index finger to fret the first fret on the second string, which is your sus4 note on G major. And now you can release it. You are used to hear that a lot, right? And if you want lots of tension, you can like uh, play it for a long time with a, a little build up like this. and release, right? So you can do it from uh, G, you could fret your C major chord. You can just lift your middle finger to get the sus2 and then put it back in. Or you could replace your middle finger by the pinky on the third uh, fret of the fourth string to get the sus4. It's really easy from D to your open D chord. If you remove your middle finger, that's gonna be the sus2. And if you add your pinky on the third fret, that's gonna be a sus4. Same thing from A major. If you play it with your middle ring and pinky. Once again, if you remove your pinky, that's a sus2, and if you play one fret higher, that's a sus4. And another one that's really useful is from E major, right? So you're gonna replace your index by your pinky on the second fret of the third string, and you get your sus4. So you got lots that you can use here. And the E major. So that's actually what I did in the open string voicing that I showed you. I played the D chord from the 10th fret, then the A chord from the 5th fret, then the F sharp minor chord from the 2nd fret, the minor voicing with the thumb, and then on the E chord I actually played a sus4 before, and then 
the real E resolution. So like this, right? So sus4 resolution, right? And the fourth pattern that I saw a lot is actually to use those suspensions bar for, for lead notes or lead tones for the lead guitar player. So remember, uh, we droned the third frets for the G chord, right? So we had those two here. So we're gonna take those two and we're gonna slide them up until the eighth fret. And I prefer to play them with my middle and ring, like this. And then we're gonna change the note on the first string. So the note on the second string is gonna stay the same, always. And then we're gonna change it on the seventh fret, on the tenth fret. And sometimes, if you can, you can pronate, pronate your hand a little bit and play on the fifth fret with your index. And if it doesn't feel natural or comfortable, you can change the, the voicing and the way you fret it, like this. So we're gonna play our leads with those. Right, we're gonna improvise through all of those variations on top of a chord progression in G major. For, so for example, I recorded one on my loop and you can hear how it sounds. So you see, it adds lots of tensions and resolutions, and it's a quite, uh, quite cool lead to play and improvise over a chord progression. Uh, alternatively, you could do it from the second and third strings also. So you could play on the 12th fret, for example, with your um, uh, ring finger and pinky. So 12th fret of the uh, second and third strings. And you could uh, play your pinky one fret higher on the 13th fret. And you could play your index on the 10th fret, second string. And play those variations like this. And it, it's gonna work just as well. works really, really well. So there you go for worship guitar, the four patterns that I see the most, using open string voicings, using the pedal tones in G major, uh, using sus4 and sus2 chords and those little lead lines here. So if you enjoyed my lesson, I have a gift for you. I offer all of my new viewers my free mini course on ambient guitar chords. I'm showing you how to play spread triads, which would be really, really useful chords to play for worship guitar or any genre of music. And in this course, I'm showing you minor and major and suspended and diminished chords. And then I'm showing you how to harmonize a scale so that you can build your own chord progression with these chords. So this is a completely free mini course. You can uh, take it first link in the description box below. This is my gift to you for watching my video until the end and I am grateful to have you as a viewer. So once again, if you want the free mini course, it's the first link in the description box. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and see you very soon. Until next time, au revoir.